Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to more Far Cry 6. And uh, today's episode, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm actually going to be helping out a spotter today. And uh, if you guys, you know, want to hit that like and subscribe button, like to help support the channel, I really appreciate that. If you guys like want to do that, um, but yeah, uh, thank you all so much for the support of my channel so far. And uh, yeah, so let's dive on into today's episode of Far Cry 6. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm actually going to check Espada's uh, operation. And another cool thing uh, that I actually unlocked in the last episode is that I actually have Chorizo as an amigo now, which is uh, really cool. And he's actually a stealth amigo. Like, it's really cool how you like, use him for stealth. And honestly, I think I'm better off with using Chorizo instead of Guapo because, like I said, because... You guys have been, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but like lately, like in these past like few episodes, I've been really getting, I've been getting like better at the stealth in this game. So I've been improving at my like gameplay for this game, like on my stealth. So my stealth gameplay is getting better. And I just think it'd be best if I would like go with like Chorizo, uh, you know, to be my uh, amigo. But uh, yeah, so I guess what we're supposed to do now is that we're actually supposed to head down. I guess we're supposed to head down to the dock uh, to meet up with Espada. But what I really want is that I really want to. I need like a workbench. Okay, wait. Where? Okay, the workbench is over here. Actually, really quick, before I leave, I think Chorizo's over here. No, he's not. Okay, he's not over here. Because, uh... I didn't mean to dismiss him, because, like, in the last episode, I dismissed him, but I didn't mean to do that. But I guess, like, when we get, like, into an actual mission, I guess then we could summon him. Grabbing a right. All right. Don't fuck with this seat. It's just how I like it. Thanks. All right, let's do this. I, say, I really like the raining animation in this game. Like the rain, like I said, it makes the game look really cool, especially like with all the puddles and all the attention to details, like with the textures and all that. It looks, it looks really. The game looks really good, like when it's raining. Cause in my opinion, I think that's where like the textures in this game like really like shine in this game. Cause especially cause like you know when the puddles on the ground like you get the reflective surfaces like that with the ray tracing. I say it really gives you a nice like next gen experience if you're playing this on PS5 or Xbox Series X. Although wait a minute, I think it's okay. So I guess I am supposed to go this. Okay. I guess I am supposed to go this way. So sorry, I know it's a little, it's a little bumpy right here, but. Just have to make it work. Ah, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I cannot. Man, like I say, there are like some. Man, I don't even have the word. I can't even really speak right now. Uh, okay, let's see. Use workbench. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Look at that. I got a whole... Oh, wow. Deals fire damage. Ooh. Okay, but you need... Okay, so I need to get more durable seals. Okay, that's what I need. Deal heavy damage against unarmored targets. Round that whole straight lines and penetrates helmets and body. Oh, definitely get that. I need that. Okay, resolve. Okay, reservoir. Laser pointer. Okay, slightly improves bullet spread when firing from the hip. Nice. Okay, definitely going to get that. Oh, there. Oh, I forgot I got the submachine gun. Oh, we definitely get the suppressor. Definitely need that. Oh, and I got two sniper rifles. Oh, well, I said definitely need to go for it, like without a doubt. I'm going to equip that. I might equip a sniper rifle. And actually, I did unlock some new um like cannons like for the for like our ride. And I did get some, and I got, oh, and it looks like I got some new uh, grilled, not grilled, <laughs> grill mounted rams. Okay. So it looks like I got that. So what is that? Yeah, that looks. Okay, wait, that reduces overheat buildup. Wait, fix it going on. Or honestly, you know what? Let me go back with the. I think I might go with the turret again.
Wait, it meant an EMP to disable vehicles and electronic security device. Ooh. If I could play EMP grenade on that, Supremo. Oh, I didn't know you like you could wait, hold on. Okay, so it looks like I can So it was like, wait, what does this look like if I like change the appearance of it? Oh, that looks cool. I'm getting that hands down. That looks cool. I think I'm going to get that. are taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. Right, because we got to get the lieutenant off of the... We got to get the lieutenant on... I believe it's called Jose's uh, Private Island, I believe. I think that's where we're going. Okay, try what Espada took. Is it yours? No, I stole it. real. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Real. Boats aren't so different. Hey. We have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once. South of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but Yeah, a but the dude fisher. is dying. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept that poison gas. On the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, it's the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. No me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See. Si. That's how he got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not right. going to be Papa. Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon El Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit. But if you like, there's probably gonna be a lot of people here. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. 
Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. Man, I, don't, I bet there's gonna be a lot of gonna be a lot of guards. I know that for a fact. Mierda, smoking Mexican. Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Oh, that's Jose Castillo. Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Oh. Well, no lo creo. What's he doing? Oh, snap. With the lieutenant we were looking for. Looks more like a scientist. Mr. Cosea. No, no. You might hit the lieutenant. Oh! Oh! Fuck. Dang, well there goes the lieutenant that we were coming from. Over there. Wow, so there was like no point of coming here. Like that's the whole reason why you came here. Was to get that lieutenant. I need to know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for Dang, Dang, I was not Maybe The way how he that. killed him though was just so brutal. Okay, that's the sniper. Okay, this is the sniper rifle. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really nice view. Oh, I forgot I got the CD player. I forgot all about that weapon, which I believe, I think that was also, okay, yeah, I think, yeah, it was another pre-order bonus. Was That was the uh, Discos Locos. Shit, Danny. 
This is gonna make it tougher to find intel. Okay, still gotta find intel on where that scientist went. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this new burst uh, AR. It's really cool. Oh no. Really? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cause I hate, I really hate killing like dogs in video games, dude. I, I really do. I really like I really like the the sniper rifle. Oh wait, those are allies. Oh, these are our allies. Okay, nice. I didn't know there was more than one ally here. Oh, sni <laughs> okay. There we go. I just wanted to. I got away the sniper rifle. The way the sniper rifle like shoots through the controller is like it's really cool. Are they coming this way? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave them alone. Okay, in recognition of your exceptional service for the benefit of a true Yara, you are cordially invited to join the illustrious General Jose Castillo, commander of the FND Air Forces, Grand Overseer of Madrugada Viviro Operations, Caribbean Achille, I think it's Achilles, I think, or Chies, I'm not sure how you pronounce that word, uh, beloved true Yaran. And recipient of the Lionheart Medal of Valor, for an exclusive evening of joy and excess at this at his private residence on the northern point of uh, Cayo Villarreal, drinks, party favors, and lubricant will be provided. Please respond at your earliest convenience to confirm your attendance. It says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Okay, so. We definitely got to use like a boat or something like. Wait, is this? Okay, you know what? Perfect. I'll just use this boat over here because like, there's no way we can do that on foot. It's like. Oh my God! Did they just shoot at me?
Ah, uh, screw it. You know what, like I said, we're like I said, we got two people here. I think this is she can uh She can use the gun on here. Wait, is she Is she not going to get on? There you are. Okay, I guess she's not. Oh god. Okay, that's about to blow up. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. I was like, can we, can we not use this bow right here? Oh, wait, hold on. I got to repair it. I guess we can't use that. Okay, nice. I was gonna say, is she not gonna get on? <laughs> like all right, cool. So she got on. Let's see, because we got to go all the way over here. I. What? Yo, is she coughing? Uh oh, that can't be a good. Yo, like, why is she coughing? Reloading. Think Jose's got a computer around here? Barrel, keep my distance. <laughs> Oh, but like he forced my hand though, and plus we trying to keep quiet too. I'm not trying to cause a disturbance.
Found it! No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojones. Can you let me in? Okay, so now we gotta rescue the prisoners. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny. Okay, well, anyways, guys, I think I'm actually gonna conclude the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Far Cry 6, and I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue on uh, this okay, mission. Good, and, you know, I'll see you guys in the next episode when I rescue the prisoners. All right? See you all. Peace out. Ugh, all this shit.